Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And welcome to my first video of 2018. I have my sketchbook ready, I've got my reference image and I've also got my cold brew coffee, so let's get started. Today I am working on a portrait of Lucy Hale, she is an actress, I think she's best known for uh, being on the show Pretty Little Liars and she actually posted this um, photo recently, I think it was for New Year's Eve and I thought it was a nice photo so I thought I would draw it for today's video and in this video I just kind of want to talk about, um, I wouldn't call it news resolutions because I don't really do those um, but in a way it kind of is uh, I'm not really the person to do New Year's resolutions just because I I think that if you want to make changes in your life you should just do them whenever <laughs> you shouldn't just do them on the 1st of January and I mean I get it I understand why people do it but it's just not something that I really do although it does help if you want like a fresh start you know it's, it's a new year um, and it makes it easy to remember when you made the change. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really do them, but I would like to make some changes on this channel. If you watched my previous video, uh, the one titled, Is My YouTube Channel Dying? Um, you'll know that I, I feel good about my channel in some ways, but not so good in other ways. And uh, you can watch that video if you want to find out like what I was talking about, but long story short, uh, basically my subscribers have gone up a lot over the past year, which is fantastic. However, whenever I upload a new video, the views are pretty bad, to be honest. Um, and I have a feeling it has something to do with the algorithm. And I mean, I have heard other YouTubers talk about this as well, so I don't think I'm the only one. But basically the algorithm seems to favour channels that have, uh, that upload more regularly. So for me, I upload once a week, which, you know, I have an art channel, so it takes me a lot longer to make videos, I guess, compared to other people. Um, you know, some videos are quick, some take a lot longer, and it's a lot more difficult to kind of you know, pump out three or more videos a week. I was doing that for a bit in 2016, but that was when I wasn't working. So if I'm working full time on YouTube, then it's definitely a lot more possible, but because I, you know, I do other things as well, it makes it a bit difficult. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to upload two videos a week to start with. That's one change that I want to make with my channel this year. Um, so hopefully you like that. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to commit to like a, a certain schedule yet or even committing to two videos just yet. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I go just because I want to know if I can you know deal with the workload and that kind of stuff. Hopefully I can. I think I'll be able to because basically my plan is to do my main video and then do like another video like this one that's a bit easier and quicker to make so it doesn't take as much time and this way um, I can kind of chat to you all a bit more casually because that's one thing that I heard a bunch of you say on my previous video it was that you kind of want to see more of me as a person uh, you know more of my personality on my art channel and that's what I'm going to try and do and I think this kind of video series will really help with that because you know I, I'm talking just casually while I'm actually drawing you know I guess this is similar to my um, old series that I did the create and chat series I don't know if you guys remember that but basically I um, I wasn't uh, talking at the, at the same time as creating I basically filmed the art and then I did the voiceover afterwards, so it's a bit different, and so yeah, I think this is a lot more like candid, I guess, in a way. And it's while I'm working, so it's really casual, 
Um, and in these videos, hopefully you guys get to know me a bit more. I'm happy to talk about subjects that aren't exactly art related if you want that. But yeah, that's kind of like my, my plan for this channel to do two videos a week, one main art video and then another video that's a bit more um, casual where you kind of get to know me more as, an, as a person, I guess. But yeah, anyway, her lips are seeming a bit difficult to draw, so I'm going to put my focus on that because I can't focus on that right now while I'm talking. So I'm going to um, work a little bit more on this and then when I'm kind of happy with it, I'll come back and chat to you all. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, my upload schedule and I know I don't really have like a set upload schedule for the past year. I think I've been uploading pretty much every Saturday at 6am Australia time. So that would be um, Friday US time. But I've, I've never really kind of announced that as like an upload time for me. I've kind of just stuck to it and I would assume that a lot of you probably just kind of know to expect a video then. Um, but I would like to kind of play around with different upload times to see if that, you know, helps my channel. Um, I, I don't want to make it too different to what it is at the moment. Um, it'll probably, I might play around with just like different upload times on the same day or I might try uploading maybe Sunday morning Australia times, so that would be Saturday US time um, because I, I don't know if that will help or not. I mean we'll see. I, I'm not going to announce any particular time just yet. I want to play around with Pardon me. I want to play around just with the different times to see what works best for my channel because it's going to be different for everybody. I know they have like set, you know, times and days that are good to upload on, but you know, there's that. But then you've also kind of got to do what you know suits your channel. So I'm going to play around with that for a bit. I'm not going to kind of announce anything just yet, but be aware that I will be um, like just changing the upload times a little bit here and there so uh, be aware of that but hopefully I can figure out like a good time um, you know sooner rather than later so that I can kind of stick to a schedule and with doing the two uploads a week my plan is to basically keep my main video um, near the end of the week like it normally is and then for this video it'll be kind of earlier in the week so you can kind of expect that um, and even with like the the two videos a week I don't want to commit to that just yet because I, I don't know if I can handle the workload so I'm gonna see how I go and if I you know find out that it's something that I can do then I can kind of you know commit to it more and announce it and hopefully I can announce you know like you know, certain upload times, I think that will kind of help a bit as well. But at the moment it's just going to be, you know, trial and error and I've got to see what works best for my channel and for me as well. So that's the plan with that. Um, I just realised her eyes are off so I'm going to have to lower one of them. I think I'm going to just lower this one here. It's a little bit too high. It is 
it's getting quite hot in my studio. Um, it's like it's bearable, um, but I'm looking forward to putting the fan on once I'm done filming this just because I don't know how noisy the fan will be and because I'm talking like real time I'm not doing a voiceover or anything um, yeah I would normally have the fan on while I'm working but to kind of cut down on the noise I'd rather not have it on for that reason so yeah I'm heating up a little bit in here but um, I don't expect this to take too long to draw, so yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully you all kind of like this video series idea. Please let me know what you think. Um, I think it's going to be a really great way to kind of get to know me more as a person, which is, you know, a lot of you suggested doing that. So hopefully you like it. Let me know if you like it or let me know if you don't like it. Uh, you know, you're the viewers and you're the ones watching my videos, so I do like to, to listen to you guys. Um, I mean, while still doing things that I enjoy, but I really do um, appreciate your input and, you know, constructive criticisms. I just heard a banging outside. I don't know if it's someone at the door. <laughs> it was like a bang. Bang, bang. I don't know. I'm too busy to check right now. And it, it, I, don't, I don't think it was the door, but it could have been. So hopefully it wasn't. It, it could just be next door, most likely. I'm also not sure what to call this series. I don't want to call it creating chat kind of like my other series because it's, it is slightly different. Um, you know, I, I feel like this one is probably, I don't know, a bit more casual. My creating chat series was kind of more of a Q and A. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to call this series. I was thinking maybe just like, you know, the, whatever I'm talking about, and then um, maybe arty chit chat or something like that. I mean, I might just use that to start with, um, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. I might change it um, if I, you know, think of something catchy, or if you guys th think of something a bit more catchy, but I think arty chit chat is, uh, is okay, so I'm, I'm probably gonna go with that, and, um, I'm thinking of probably doing one of these videos a week. So this will be kind of my um, my earlier video in the week. It's going to be a lot more casual. You know, you guys can sit creating your own art while listening to me and watching me create as well. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like these videos because if you don't, then uh, obviously I'll try not to make them. But yeah, let me know if you like them. If you have any suggestions for future videos, for topics I can talk about, let me know. Or even if you have um, certain things that you'd like me to draw in this series, let me know. I'll probably mainly stick to just like pencil drawings like this, um, because I'm just going to be using my sketchbook for these videos, but I, I could also use some other materials as well, so if there's anything else you'd like me to kind of work in, let me know. Like I said before, I'd love to hear your suggestions just about, you know, anything, um, since you watch my videos. I want to make stuff that you like, 
as well as stuff that I also enjoy making, you know. I need to have a good mix of the two, I think. Uh, something that um, someone mentioned on my previous video was that tutorial kind of how-to videos tend to do better and I mean I've always known that I've always known that they do better but they're definitely not my favorite video to make just because I don't know like I don't think I'm a teacher as such so I don't um, like making those videos as much but I mean I know they do well and they are quite helpful so I'm gonna try and make more of them uh, this year and another thing is basically I'm I'm kind of changing my work schedule for like at home so you you guys won't like notice it or anything but because I am you know attempting to do two videos a week I kind of need to shuffle my schedule around and and just kind of make things work a bit better um, what I need to start doing again is writing out like a a like a weekly calendar to do list type thing. I did I did that back in 2016. I kind of like made my own um, my own weekly calendar graphic and I printed it out and it was super helpful and I think that definitely helped with my productivity. But I stopped doing that last year and I think that you know that probably you know didn't help with you know me making videos and stuff but um I think just being able to kind of see everything on paper and have everything planned out, it really helps me. Otherwise I get quite overwhelmed, you know, by just having it all in my head and then I'm like, oh, what, I'm, what am I supposed to do? And I kind of just, yeah, I think just having it, you know, written down will really help. I mean, I do write like to-do lists just on my phone, but I think just planning my entire week out will really help. And um, especially because I'm going to be doing more work, uh, that will help. And um, yeah, the way I work each week, I'm just kind of changing changing that. So uh, one thing I'm going to try and do is basically for my main video for the week, I'm going to try and... Wait, okay, so to give you guys some perspective, basically when I upload a video now, uh, well, last year, I would make the artwork earlier in the week and then I would edit the video and upload it that weekend so whatever art I made that week would be that week's video but I'm going to try and work like a week in advance so when I make the art it won't go up like that weekend it'll go up the following weekend and that's not so much to kind of be in advance it'll just kind of like I think help better with my productivity and um, that way what I would like to also start doing is when I um, introduce my art video, like my main art video for the week, uh, I can actually film a clip of myself introducing it so, you know, when people watch the video they can actually see my face, they can see, you know, the artist behind the art and I think that will kind of help making it a little bit more personal. I mean, I don't think I'll go into too much detail in those videos, depending on the video really. But I think just, you know, seeing my face will, like, will just help a bit. And even for these videos, I might, I might, <laughs> um, attempt to kind of add maybe a webcam shot in these videos as well. For today, I just want to kind of do the video and I don't really want to be on camera <laughs> right now because I feel all sweaty and I don't have makeup on and all that. But if I kind of plan you know, my week's out better and then I can go, okay, I'm going to film this video on that day, I can prepare to, you know, maybe put some makeup on, that kind of thing and just be a bit more prepared and maybe, you know, add a little webcam shot of me talking. Let me know if you'd like that as well, if, if that'll kind of make it seem a little bit more personal. I mean, I might not do that always, but that is an idea. So I would like to kind of just get my face in my art videos more. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and do that and hopefully that helps with the videos being a bit more personal. I, I definitely think these videos will help because, you know, I'm talking really candidly. It's it's a lot less structured compared to say like an art video where I only have a certain amount of time to talk about, you know, a certain subject and then oh I need to finish the video and yeah. So I think I think you guys will like these videos. 
but again, let me know if you do or don't. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along. I'm not going to do anything like too detailed, like as you can see I'm not doing like tons of shading or anything. Just a quick sketch um, just to kind of, you know, get back into creating art because I did have a bit of a break um, over Christmas. I, I was going to upload an art video last weekend but I did want to film that um, kind of 2017 wrap up video and that video like kind of inspired me to kind of make some changes on my channel anyway so I think I think that was a good thing and that means the art that I made earlier um, that can be my first like main video for this year and that actually puts me in advance so w what I was talking about before like um, you know the art goes up the following week rather than that week I'm already like ready for that I don't have to like do like two pieces of art like this week to kind of get ahead of myself so I'm pretty ready for it and I'm really excited I yeah like I said in my previous video I was I was feeling a bit down about my channel um, you know I'd upload a video and it would just get hardly any views and I'm like what is going on I I do think the algorithm has something to do with it because I've heard of other channels dealing with the same thing and it's just, it's really disheartening, you know, like, I put in a lot of effort and then, then you know, I, I post it and then just, like, nothing happens and I'm like, well, you know, does anybody watch them? Does anybody, are people just, like, not interested anymore? But I definitely think it's the algorithm. Um, so I'm going to try my best to kind of, I guess, not beat the algorithm, but to get it to work in my favour, you know uploading more videos, I think that will help, um, and yeah, I mean that's kind of the only thing I think I can do in regards to the algorithm, if you guys have any other tips on that, please let me know, um, if you're also a YouTuber, um, have you dealt with, you know, a similar thing to me, has, has your channel kind of suffered a little bit throughout 2017, because yeah, I know I'm not the only one, I know it's happened to other people, which which sucks, but at the same time I'm kind of like, oh, at least I don't feel totally alone <laughs> in the struggle. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm just using an HP pencil. I did get some others out, but I don't really feel the need to use them. <laughs> I think I'm just going to stick with this. And I'm being pretty lazy with the hair. I, I mean, this drawing isn't supposed to be super detailed or anything. I just kind of want to get the darker tones in. And yeah, like I'm going for kind of more of a more of a messy style, I might do some more detail. Actually I will go in with a darker pencil, I'm going to go in with a 4B and just slightly darken up some areas. I think that's it for today. I might just go in and erase some of the first few lines that I put in, but I think that is it. This is definitely not <laughs> like a perfect drawing. It's just something pretty quick to kind of get me back into drawing and hopefully um, by doing this 
each week it'll kind of you know just give me time to draw in a sketchbook because I don't normally do that and I probably should and maybe it'll help me kind of just come up you know with ideas for future paintings which I think is you know, a great idea for a sketch for a sketchbook. You know, you can kind of practice your ideas, and then you can choose certain ones out of there to turn into like a final piece. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks like Lucy enough. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way, you won't miss any of my videos. And if you like this video and you want me to talk about certain topics or subjects. Please leave your um, suggestions in the, the in the comment section. What am I saying? Um, yes, leave your suggestions in the comments below, and I will take them into consideration. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, that is all from me today. Hopefully, you guys had a great day. Hopefully, you made some art, and I will see you all in my next video.